Hey, what's up everybody? How are you guys doing today? If you're new here, my name's Tobias, and today I'm doing a review of this smart deadbolt lock by the brand WeLock. And right now it's going for $99.99 on Amazon. It looks like it is on sale right now because it usually goes for around $150. And I'll go ahead and put the Amazon link down in the description below in case you would like to check that out for yourself. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a quick unboxing. I'm going to talk a little bit about what it comes with and the setup. I'll install it and try it out and in the end I'll give you guys my final review. And if at any point if this video does help you out or if you like this video I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much and if you would like to see more videos by me in the future make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button and let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. As you can see, it comes with the user manual, three RFID cards, a set of keys, two square stickers, a box of hardware, and the actual lock itself. If we take another look at the box, we'll see that there's some very interesting warning labels on it, including one saying that this item has been damaged and is not meant to be resold. But as you'll see later on in this video, I tested it out and everything seems to work fine. If we take a look at the front of the lock, it can be opened, and this is where you put the batteries in. As you can see here, I'm putting in the four AAA batteries, which I later realized I put in incorrectly, and I had to take them out and put them back in correctly. You can then close up the battery compartment and then pull down the silicone and screw the battery compartment in place with the included screws and screwdriver. You may notice that there's also a mini USB port on the lock, which is meant to supply power to the doorknob if the AAA batteries go dead. There's also a keyhole which can be used if the batteries go dead as well, or if you just happen to forget your code. To download the WeLock app, all you have to do is scan the QR code on the doorknob, and once you do that, setting up an account is fairly straightforward, and after you do that, you'll have to scan the QR code on your doorknob again, and then you'll need to bind your lock with your account. And to bind your account with your lock, you will need your lock ID, which can be found on the inside panel of the doorknob. After they bind, you'll want to hit the sync time button in the app so that the doorknob can have the correct time and date. With the WeLock app, you can unlock the lock with the push of a button. And at this point, I was ready to install the smart deadlock. I started by going into the garage and removing the old deadlock from the door using a screwdriver. After the old lock was completely removed, I moved on to installing the Wii lock. You'll notice that the internal part of the Wii lock will have an arrow saying up. When you're installing this piece, make sure that that arrow is pointing up. And this is around the point where I run into the first thing that I wasn't too thrilled about. The Wii lock didn't cover up the hole on the door completely. There's actually a pretty large gap above the panel of the Wii lock. And I realized that this is why they included those square stickers with the holes in them, which I really didn't want to use. But anyways, I went ahead and put the stickers on, screwed the whole thing together, and after that, it was fairly easy to use. The default code for the Wii lock right out of the box is 123456. And to unlock the deadlock with the default code or any other code you might program in the future, all you do is hit the lock button on the keypad, followed by the six digit code, and then hit the lock button again, and that will unlock the lock. If you want to change the default code, all you do is hit the lock button twice. The current six digit code that it has, so in this case it would be 123456, followed by the lock button again, followed by your new code that you want to enter, followed by the lock button again, followed by your new code again, followed by the lock button one final time. And that's how you change the code on the lock. And there are a bunch of other settings listed in the user manual that you can check out, including how to add the RFID cards, which are pretty cool. To use those, all you do is hit the lock button, hold the card up to the Wii lock, and it will unlock. 
And now it's time to move on to my final review of the Wheelock Deadbolt. And first of all, I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to keep it. I don't think it looks good with that black sticker around it. And I feel like the panel should be bigger to cover the entire hole on the door. Also, the panel is made out of plastic and I think it should be made out of metal. And to be entirely honest, I feel like if somebody came with like a hammer or a crowbar, they could easily break this thing. So I actually would not recommend having this outside. I think a regular deadbolt lock would be much more secure. And also, when I was installing the Wii lock onto the door, I was using a magnetic tip screwdriver, and the screws that were included with the Wii lock did not stick to the screwdriver, making me think that they're made out of some like cheap alternative material. So yeah, I think that this Wii lock would be okay to have inside your house, like say if you have a home office and you don't want people going in there and messing with stuff, maybe you can use it for that, but I probably wouldn't recommend having it outside of your house. And for the price, you know, right now it's going for $100. It looks like it usually goes for around $150. Honestly, I think it could be a bit better. But like always, guys, I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below as well. And I will put the link for this Wheelock Deadbolt down in the description below in case you would like to check that out for yourself. And that's going to be just about it for this video, guys. If you did like this video, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.